Hi, I'm Maxine. Today, I'll be exploring the Wallace Trail and Wallace Education Centre at Dairy Farm Nature Park. Come join me! But first, who is Wallace? Alfred Russell Wallace is known as the co-discoverer of the theory of evolution by natural selection. More than 150 years ago, the British explorer studied the natural history of the Malay archipelago, during which he collected specimens of all kinds of wildlife. In Singapore alone, he collected over 700 species of beetles. It was during his time in the Malay archipelago that he made many scientific discoveries and formed the theory of evolution by natural selection. During his stay in Singapore, Wallace lived in the St. Joseph's Church just around the corner. This was so that he could be near the forests of Bukit Timah Hill, close to where we are now. Let's discover more about the area's local biodiversity through Wallace's eyes. Let's go! The Wallace Trail is just a short walk from Hillview MRT Station. When you're on the trail, remember to look out for our directional signs as well as floor imprints that will guide you along the way. Hey, come look at what I found. I wonder what it is. It is said that Wallace would often spend hours in a single spot in the forest, observing his surroundings and learning about the flora and fauna that he came across. We have arrived at the Wallace Education Centre. Let's continue our journey into the centre, which now houses a permanent exhibit featuring, you guessed it, Wallace. Learn more about his scientific discoveries and Singapore's rich natural heritage. The exhibition is divided into four zones. Zone 1 introduces Wallace and his theories of evolution by natural selection. Zone 2 is all about our nature reserves, rainforests and unique biodiversity. Zone 3 features a citizen science lab and a mini exhibit, while Zone 4 provides information on MPARC's conservation efforts and programs that you can be a part of. Remember the insect we saw just now? Let's use this interactive catalogue to find out what it could be. The catalogue is always growing and we hope that eventually it will have pictures of all of the wildlife that can be found in the dairy farm area. Try your hands at this biodiversity-themed video game. Find out what you should do if you encounter some of our local wildlife in a fun and interactive way. Visitors are encouraged to explore the natural world here at the Citizen Science Lab. Feel free to use the microscopes and magnifying glasses and be in awe of the new perspective. And that marks the end of the tour inside the Wallace Education Centre. But that's not all. Let's find out what else is on the Wallace Trail. Did you know that Dairy Farm Nature Park got its name because there was a dairy farm right here in the 1930s? The general manager, Philip Fielding, used to stay in a house right next to the farm. At its peak, the dairy farm housed 800 cows. It was the only dairy farm to have successfully reared Frisian cows in this region at the time and garnered worldwide attention. Farming experts and foreign scientists were drawn to study its success. In the time after Wallace left Singapore, the forests were cleared for various plantations. The land was also cultivated and kampongs were built. This is why we can spot many fruit trees left to grow. Remember to keep your voices low to get a better chance of seeing and hearing our native biodiversity like the Greater Racket-tailed Drongo or the Kalugo. Thank you for joining me on this virtual tour of Wallace Trail at Dairy Farm Nature Park. To find out more, check out our website or make a trip down to explore the trails yourself. See you soon!